Hi everyone. In this session, I am going to discussing about uh, sequential output tracing. Guys, sequential output tracing is very important uh, uh, for all competitive examinations, especially for banking. Uh, so, first of all, uh, we have to understand what is sequential output tracing and what kind of questions are asking from this topic. Uh, see. First of all, uh, all these questions are basically group based questions. Uh, here, uh, some information will be given in the question and uh, based on that information, we need to solve the questions related to those informations, right? Uh, now, see the information which is provided. See here, directions, uh, study the following in, uh, arrangement uh, carefully and then answer the following questions. Uh, here, this is the information you need to read these sentences carefully an electronic device rearranges uh, numbers step by step in a particular order in a particular order according to a set of rules according to a set of rules uh, an electronic device rearranges uh, the numbers in a particular order whether that particular order uh, belongs to some kind of rules and regulations based on uh, the given numbers based on the given numbers right now after that uh, the device stops when the final result is obtained here the electronic device will stops when the final result is obtained in this case for this question in this case in the sense uh, for this question he is saying that the device stops at uh, step 5. In this uh, case, the device stops at uh, step 5. Now, what is step 5? Here, this is a step 5, final uh, step for this question. And uh, this is the input which is provided. Based on the input, he will give some steps. Step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4, step 5, step by step. Uh, step by step there is a particular rule will be there we have to identify the, that particular rule in what way he is uh, applying the logics uh, we have to identify that logic uh, based on that particular logic you need to solve the remaining questions which is uh, given in the uh, set of questions see first of all here the input is given as 85 16 36 4 19 97 63 and 9 these are the numbers which are given as input whereas coming to step 1 if you observe step 1 97 is written first 97 that means uh, from input to step 1 97 comes to first position 97 comes to first position and after that uh, 85, 16, 36, 4, 19, 63, 9. All the remaining numbers are written in the same pattern. There is no change in the pattern. He is just writing the number 97 comes to first position. Why only he has taken 97? Because here the rule which he is applying is he is taking the larger number. He is taking the larger number or biggest number. Highest number is 97. 97 comes to first position. Remaining numbers positions are as it is. There is no change in the remaining numbers. Now, coming to from step 1 to step 2. Step 1 to step 2. What is the rule he is applied? See, 97 is completed. From after that 85. Obviously, Second step, in the second step, in the entire numbers which are provided, second highest number is obviously 87. That should come second. So, that is there in already in step 1 only, right? There is no need of doing again the same thing. Now, after 85, after 85, what is the next highest number? That is 63. That should come to third position. Why? Because uh, first position and second position, these are in particular order. These are in particular order. Here, according to the given input and steps, uh, here the logic is following. Uh, he is writing all the numbers in descending order. In descending order, right? That is the uh, 
logic he is applying. Here in step 1, 97 and remaining all are same pattern. And 85 should be there. 85 is already there in step 1. After 85, next highest number is 63. So, 63 comes to third position and remaining numbers 16, 36, 6, 4, 19, 9. These are as it is. There is no change. In step 3, in step 3, after 63, 36 is the next highest number. That will come to fourth position and remaining 16, 4, 19, 9. And in step 4, if you see, uh, step 4. In step 4, after 36, after 36, 19 is the highest number that will come to this position, right? So, the remaining number 16, 4, 9. Now, after 19, next number is 16, that is the highest number that is in sequence only and after that 9 is the highest number. So, you need to take 9 into this position. So, the final result is 97, 85, 63, 36, 19, 16, 9 and 4. Here the logic he is applying is uh, here whatever the input is given for the numbers uh, that particular order. It doesn't matter about the order which is given in the input. Uh, finally, what is the final step? Last step is the final step for the given input. And uh, he is writing all the given numbers in descending order. He is writing all the given numbers in descending order. That is the logic uh, he is applying. Now you can solve the questions based on the same logic. Now see here which of the following uh, will be the step 3 for the input below. Here this is the input given. For this input what is the uh, step 3? What is the uh, Step 3. We need to identify step 3. First, uh, according to this rule, largest number to smallest number. First, we have to write the largest number. Among all these, largest number is 32. And uh, remaining numbers as it is. 9, 25, 16, 30. And uh, 32 is already written. 18, 17, 6. This is step 1. Coming to step 2. In step 2, after 32, 30 is the uh, second highest number. So, you need to write, you need to take this 30 into second position. 30 and remaining numbers as it is. 25, 16, 18, 17, 6. And uh, third step, 32 and 30, these are same pattern in decreasing order. And next highest number. What is the next highest number? 25. 25 comes to third position. So, 32, 30, 25. Remaining numbers as it is. 9, 16, 18, 17, 6. Here the question is asking about what is step 3. This is step 3 value. Here 32, 30, 25. 32, 30, 25. And next, uh, 9, 16, 18, 17, 6. Option A is the right answer for the given input. For the given input, step 3 is uh, option A. Option A is the right answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here. Same, uh, same information and same logic that is descending order. There is no change in uh, the logic. Uh, Every time he will give uh, all these questions are group questions. That is the reason why once you get the logic, it is very easy to get the answers uh, for the given questions. Which is the last step for the input below. Here this is the input which is provided and we need to find the final step. Final step is nothing but uh, arranging all the given numbers in descending order. That is the logic, right? Here he is applying the logic of uh, descending order, right? First of all, here this is the input. You need to take a uh, highest number, highest number first, step 1. In step 1, highest number comes to first position, 27, and remaining numbers as it is, 16, 
9.25.6.5. After that, second step. 27 is completed. Next highest number is 25. That will come to second position, 25. And remaining numbers as it is, 16, 9, 6, 5. Guys, here, if you observe carefully, all these numbers, 27, 25, 16, 9, 6, 5. All these numbers are in descending order only. So, step 2 is the final step for the given input. That is the answer. Step 2. Option A. Option A is the right answer. Sometimes there is a chance, uh, chance that you are getting the answer within seconds. Why? Because uh, here you can directly set that uh, you will get the answer only in step 2 itself. Uh, but sometimes it is very difficult to get the answer. Your answer will be maybe step 7, step 8 also sometimes uh, based on the given uh, information. Right? Next one. See, what is the output? Step 5 for the input below. We need to find the step 5 for the input given below. Right? This is the input and uh, we need to find step 5. First, uh, logic is same logic that is descending order. Logic is same logic, descending order. Step 1. Step 1 you need to write uh, highest number first that is 88 and remaining numbers as it is 25. 8, 35, 11, 67, 23. After that, step 2. In step 2, second highest number that is 67 that comes to second position. 88, 67, remaining numbers as it is. 25, 8, 35, 11, 67 already written. Next, 23. Next, third one. Third one is, after 67, next highest number is 35. So, 88, 67, 35 comes to this position and remaining numbers as it is, 25, 8, 11, 23. Now, if you observe this step, after 35, next highest number is 25 only. So, 25 is already written in the same order. After 25, what is the next uh, highest number? 23. So, that will come to the position before, uh, before 8. 88, 67, 35, 25. Next, 23, 8, 11. This is step 4. And finally, step 5. Now, here these two are interchanged in step 5. Up to 23 is already completed and still you left over with 8 and 11. Next highest number is obviously 11 that will come to second position from right hand. 88, 67, 35, 25, 23, 11, 8. This is the final step uh, for the given input. Here 88, 67, 35, 25, 23, 11, 8. That is uh, option B. Option B is the right answer for the given input. Uh, for the given input, step 5 is obviously 88, 67, 35, 25, 23, 11, 8. Option B. Let's move on to the next question. See here, which of the following would be the last step for the input below? Here, one input is given. For this input, we need to find the last step. We need to find the last step. Last step is nothing but. Here, you need to write the given numbers in descending order. In which order? Descending order, right? First, you have to start with the step 1. In step 1, what is the highest number? 43. 43 comes to first position. That is uh, 43. After that, remaining numbers as it is 3, 31, 22, 11, 9. After 1, second number. Here, first number is 43. Next highest number is 31. That comes to second position. 3, 22, 11, 9. Next, after that, 
third position 43 31 after 31 next highest number is 22 22 3 11 9 next one fourth step 43 these are not in descending order right so until and unless you will get the descending order of all the numbers here after 22 next highest number is 11 3 9 after that step 5 is also there why because uh, 3 and 9 these are not in descending order so you need to write that also 22 11 After eleven, next uh, one is nine. After that, uh, three. Step five is the final step for the given input. Uh, so step five is not there in the given options. So obviously your answer is uh, none of these. Uh, whenever none of these option is there, you have to be very much careful about uh, this particular option. Why? Because uh, here you don't have uh, step five. Most of the students confuse uh, at step four. they will write uh, after taking three or four steps they will directly keep it as uh, two is not the three is no, not the answer obviously they will keep step four is the answer but uh, here you have a option that none of this uh, you have to get uh, take until you get the final result uh, final step uh, final step is uh, step 5 last step uh, none of this is the right answer next one last question for this uh, section for this session see here if the output of step 4 output of step 4 is given as below what was the input guys uh, remember one thing here step 4 is given step 4 is given and we need to find the input that is, that means from reverse order from reverse order step 4 to input uh, remember whenever numbers are given whenever numbers are given if uh, there is a lot of possibilities of taking each and every number in different different ways from input to steps that is possible that is descending order of logic but whereas coming to step 4 or step 3 to step input or a step 2 to input whatever it is from reverse order step 4 is given if you want to find the input you you don't know exactly where this 92 in the input right if you want to go through uh, third step which number you have taken from third step uh, in the particular order right so you don't know exactly whether that is belongs to the uh, particular uh, certain position or not so that is the reason why we have lot many possibilities we cannot say exactly what is the exact uh, input of the given step 4 so your answers should be cannot be determined remember di directly you can keep the answer as cannot be determined for these kind of problems why because uh, whenever input uh, input if you want to calculate uh, by giving steps uh, whatever the step whether it is step 4 or step 3 or step 5 whatever it is uh, if you want to find the input of that particular step it is not at all possible in reverse order so your answer should be cannot be determined that is the answer guys i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thank you very much for watching